what's going on guys yeah welcome to another episode of passive income proudly brought to you by nigercashflow.com today we are going to be looking at five google tools that will boost your business productivity in 2018 and without further ado let's dive in So I would like to bring to your notice that the advent of the internet turned our laptop to our offices. You no longer need to have a physical office because ordinarily having an internet access on a laptop, um, it's like you having your normal office. However, with the introduction of the Google Suite, or the Google sets of office tools we now have our office everywhere we go that is we have our office on our laptop we have it on our smartphone we have it everywhere we go so what Google tools is just trying to uh, help businesses with is that you can have your office everywhere you go so the requirement for using a, the Google tools is to have a Google account and then have an internet access, access. So the first thing you need to do for the Google tools, we actually have four, which is the Google Drive for storing your files, for storing your documents, the Google Drive the Google Doc for editing and creating Word document, the Google Sheet for editing and creating uh, spreadsheets or Excel documents, or popularly known, known as Excel documents, or then lastly, the Google Slide for creating and editing PowerPoint or slide document. So we're going to start with the Google Drive and to access the Google Drive, <clears throat> you need to go to drive.google.com. So what you can basically do with this Google Drive is that you can store any important file of your business or even your personal files on the Google Drive. And as you can see here, you have a maximum of 15 gig free storage. And I've actually used 3 gig out of it. I've uploaded a couple of files. I've used 3 gig out of it. So you can be uploading all your business files so that you can access it anytime anywhere so as a matter of fact if you your business you are into procurement or purchase of of equipment or you purchase anything in your business you can upload the receipt on google drive so you start storing your receipt there and the very uh, interesting thing about google drive is that you can as well access it on your phone so whenever you have a receipt you snap in your office just what snap it and upload it to google drive and you you will always have access to it then if you have any excel document pdf document word document or a powerpoint document that is very important and you like to have access to it or back it up you can also do it through google drive and how do you do it it's very simple there are two methods. The first method is to create a folder. You come to new, click on um, folder. So let's name our folder receipt. This receipt. So in this receipt folder, which we just created, which is uh, now here, this is the receipt folder. I actually have five folders before. One, two, three, four, five. So in this receipt folder, I can open it. And after I had opened it, I can drop any file any picture it's very easy to do that just come to your desktop um, minimize this come to your desktop look for a picture uh, okay let me come to screenshot now this is a picture let's assume this is a receipt i will just grab it and drop it under my receipt section and um, to start uploading it's very easy very easy so it's already uploading here 
and as you can see now it's uploaded already so the second way for you to upload any document just come to this um now anything you upload here will be under receipt so to to upload on the main folder which you can easily access any file get back to the my, my drive click here then click on the plus then click file upload then you'll be able to upload any file so let's move to the second tool which is the google doc now to access google docs you need to go to docs.google.com and the use of the google doc is to create or edit any word document and you can access this document anywhere anytime so if you want to create a new document just click on plus and um, if you want to edit let me say you have uploaded a word do document through my drive and you come to docs.google.com you will see all the word documents here and you can click on any of them to edit so for example i've clicked on this article that i wrote i can make any changes and as i'm making the changes it's been saved automatically you don't need to worry so let's say i typed um thanks for reading this article it's been saved automatically i don't need to to, to be pressing ctrl save and um, you can as well come to file and download this um document to your computer after making all your changes you can download to your computer you can convert it to pdf anything you want so let's move to this third tool which is also another very important tool which is google sheet you can use the google sheet to create and edit any uh spreadsheet document so if you want to edit you can upload the document through the google drive then once you upload it you will see it here then you can edit so let me show you samples of uh, spreadsheet that i do create and edit i do update it anywhere i am whether um now i personally use google sheets to record all the sales i'm making so this is uh, my sales, sales book my balance sheet anywhere i am whether i'm in the car or i'm i traveled or i'm in a seminar i do update my balance sheet if i make any sales i do it through my phone so what i just need to do is just access my my google sheet click on it then make the necessary changes i i want so as you can see i said it way back as much 2017 and you can if i scroll down you will see that i already have my template and that template i can see the closing income balance another thing that i use the google sheet for is my personal finance my monthly financial statements my cash flow so as you can see now i use this to calculate my monthly financial statement i input my income i input my expenses i input my assets i input my liabilities and it automatically calculates um, how much i keep how many passive how is my money working for me how much do i spend on uh, banking how much goes to housing it automatically calculated every month i have june july so it's very important and you know with this you can access this anywhere anytime so uh let's move to the last two which is also very very important which is the google slide you can use the google slide to create or edit slide so what i normally do is i create my slide on my pc then i upload it to google drive and i edit it with google slide anywhere anytime to make my changes so with this you won't have issues like you let me say you you did your slide and you travel to another state to present so you didn't go with your laptop and you, you when you go there you got to realize that what you copied wasn't working so if it's on the cloud if it's on google slide google google drive you will have access to it so what you just need to do is open your google drive and open it and as you can see i just opened this which is an ebook that I'm, I'm making so and i can edit anything here and as i'm editing it it's saving it that's the most interesting part so thank you very much for watching this video don't forget Nigeria cash flow is working towards helping nigerians increase their cash flow online 
We want to help many Nigerians to make passive income. So learn skills, make money, and increase your cash flow. See you in our next episode. Thank you.